everyone, so this video review is for Two Is A Pattern by Emily Waters. If you want to check out my review, I have just posted that, so if you're on YouTube there's a link in the description below, and if you're on my blog there is a link within the post. And this is the video review, so Two Is A Pattern by Emily Waters. Um, this was romance with a twist, and really, really enjoyable. Um, Annie has quit her job with the CIA after a mission went horribly wrong. She decides to head back to college, um, but the CIA have other ideas and uh, Annie finds herself suddenly juggling a job um, and her courses whilst living in the garage of one of her professors, uh, Helen. So it's not long before Helen starts putting pieces together about Annie, uh, but Annie kind of has to keep her from discovering the truth to keep them safe. Um, so I absolutely loved this. It really wasn't what I expected at all um, and I love it when a story sort of takes me by surprise like this. Um, it's set in the early 90s era, which I absolutely love. Um, the simplicity of that sort of era really, um, it, it, for someone to then work for the CIA at that point, and it centred around tech, but it wasn't the most high tech stuff that you have now, um, not, you know, not the highly intuitive things, it made the story a little bit more special because it meant that the plot points that were needed in the story to, were, were easier to do. You'd never get away with it nowadays. There's just way too much exposure of things. and. Uh, Annie wouldn't have been able to run as easily as she thought she had, not that she ran that easily because, you know, they caught up with her, but um, it was so reminiscent of a time that I kind of remember and I wish we still had today because we've got way too much tech and everything's way too accessible nowadays and, and, and there was just a nice simplicity in um, the fact that, you know, um, Annie wouldn't just, like, be able to ring someone or um, from, like, wherever she was and get help and she had to think, uh, solutionise and... Um, take risks and uh, you know no phone in your pocket to distract you uh, all the missions were um, you know <sighs> Annie really had her work cut out for her in this she had to go on these missions they were potentially quite dangerous um, she had to have that sleuthing skill that you know we all kind of have now because we can just dig around on the internet and stuff so um, she had to think outside the box to get answers and figure things out and figure out who people were find find uh, Helen and she wanted somewhere to stay, she had to, she had to like track her down, um, it wasn't that easy and um, yeah what was great was there were lots of red herrings as well so I was sure there was going to be something I overlooked or missed that really sort of connected the dots between Helen and Annie on some other level and yet it wasn't like that at all and I just it was so unpredictable that I just loved it all because I couldn't figure anything out back ahead of things happening and even with Annie I was not quite sure what had happened and I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen and I wasn't quite sure what decisions she would make so um, Annie had been through pretty traumatic events and she was desperate not to have history repeat itself um, with Helen and her family so she quickly um, she quickly found herself really a part of Helen's family and they were developing this relationship from a distance um, before they actually got an opportunity to act on it and um, they kind of delved in without much consideration and then there was the complications that it might cause the start to sort of dawn on them and everything moved so fast and um, Annie's resistance to the CIA was actually um, was actually quite funny. She was left with very little choice but it was quite funny how she tried. Um, but there was no denying, you know, she was really good at her job and she was really good at what she did and she was kind of made for it. So as much as she wanted to be at college she had skills they needed and she was good at it and, and, and she was always going to be good at it so everything about this story was unexpected uh, to the point I was kind of really addicted to learning more so I just couldn't put it down I really needed to know what was happening and going on and I can't wait to read it again it was such a great story and I really really hope you'll enjoy it so I'll pop a link in the description so you can grab a copy of Two Is A Pattern by Emily Waters which I really hope you will. If you've read Two Is A Pattern I would love to know what you thought of it so please do comment and share your thoughts and if you haven't read it yet but you're planning to read it it's on your to be read list or you're now super intrigued and thinking yes I really want to read that then again please do let us know because it's always great to find out what you're interested in reading and if you do read it I really really hope you enjoy it. Bye!